The Knowledge Library Daily Current Affairs News Headlines 12th January 2023 National News The Department of Telecommunications DOT has taken a proactive drive to prevent malicious incoming calls and safeguard cyber crimes and frauds In Maharashtra Governor of Reserve Bank of India RBI Shaktikanta Das today said that the Indian banking sector has emerged stronger from the unprecedented challenges of recent years. The budget session of parliament will commence on the 31st of this month. Sources said the session will continue till the 9th of next month. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman has said Gift City will be the gateway for achieving the vision of developed India by 2047. It searches Karnataka MLA K Y Nanji Govda in 150 crore rupees land allotment case. The National Investigation Agency (NIA) has seized several illegal arms and ammunition along with incriminating documents in the case related to conspiracies and activities of the band Babbar Khalsa International and the Lawrence Bishnoi Crime Syndicate. 6.1 magnitude quake hits Afghanistan, tremors in Delhi and Sia, no casualties reported. Solid set of preparations is in place for the upcoming Lok Sabha elections asserts Chief Election Commissioner Rajiv Kumar. Indigo Airlines launches direct flight between Ayodhya and Ahmedabad ahead of opening ceremony of Ram Temple. Ex summons NC president and former CM Dr Farooq Abdullah regarding financial irregularities in JNK Cricket Association. President Draupadi Murmu presents Swachh Sarvekshan Awards 2023 Indoor and Surat adjudged cleanest cities in the country. Government is working to make India the hub of green hydrogen by 2030 says G20 Sherpa Amitabh Khan. National Investigation Agency NIA has conducted raids at 32 places in Delhi, Haryana and Punjab to break the nexus between terrorists, gangsters and smugglers in the country. Army Chief General Manoj Pandey today said that the situation in northern borders is stable but still sensitive. PM Modi to inaugurate 27th National Youth Festival at Nashik in Maharashtra on 12th January. PM Modi to inaugurate and lay foundation stone of multiple development projects worth over 30,500 crore rupees in Maharashtra. Raksha Mantri Rajnath Singh held a meeting with Prime Minister of the United Kingdom Rishi Sunak to discuss a wide range of issues including defence, security and economic cooperation. DGBSF reviewed security situation and operational preparedness at Jammu Pakistan border. The tour of Rashtrapati Bhavan for the general public will remain closed from the 23rd to the 29th of this month. Raksha Mantri Rajnath Singh says China's perspective towards India changed drastically as Bharat has emerged as a strategic power. International news. In Bangladesh, Awami League president Sheikh Hasina was sworn in today evening as the prime minister of the country for the fourth consecutive term, the fifth overall. Steel Fab 2024 exhibition in New Delhi highlights India's robust presence in global steel industry. United Nations's International Court of Justice (ICJ) is hearing a case against Israel filed by South Africa. South Africa accused Israel on Thursday of subjecting Palestinians to genocidal acts. US and British naval forces shoot down 21 drones and missiles fired by Yemen-based Houthis. US and UK hints at military action against Yemen's Houthi rebels after recent attacks on Red Sea shipping. Vishwa Hindi Divas celebrated in Dhaka yesterday. High Commissioner of India to Bangladesh Pranay Verma joined the Vishwa Hindi Divas celebrations at Dhaka University. Sports news. In Malaysian Open badminton tournament, India's Ashwini Ponnappa and Tanisha Krasto registered a brilliant win against the world number 9 pair of Mayu Matsumoto and Vakana Naghar of Japan in the women's doubles. Reigning Asian champion Aman Sehrawat won the gold medal in men's 57 kilograms at the Zagreb Open 2024 wrestling tournament in Croatia. In women's shooting, Ridham Sangwan bagged the bronze medal in the 25 meter pistol event at the Asian Shooting Championship in Jakarta, Indonesia today. Hockey India has announced the 26 member squad for a four nation tour. The tournament includes France, the Netherlands, India, and South Africa. Thank you have a nice day ahead Like share and subscribe our channel